what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Dang and Rough V3. When we left off, everything's come together. I would say the puzzle pieces have come together, but the puzzle's what's up next. Yeah. So we're going to do that in a moment, but we pretty much solved everything. It would appear that Keo is the culprit in both cases, though Keo has also revealed his face, and uh, boy, was I not expecting that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and finish this for Himiko, for Tenko, for Angie, yes. for everyone, for a two even, I don't I'll know. I'll go over everything <laughs> one for more time. Two, uh... Keo, I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. Damn. Oh, no, he's not gonna do anything yet. All right, closing argument, let's start. Start off. All right, I gotta keep remembering how this works. Uh, Okay, so who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Well, I mean, that would be Keo, but mm. I don't know if we have a single place, uh, is it a hiding spot? Small stone Himiko brought, remove floorboard. Okay, so we're not gonna have that, but we are gonna use the remove floorboard up here soon. Actually, that's gonna be that right there. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Got it. All right, moving on to shit. Um, moving on to shit. Not shit. <laughs> uh, what was compressing the injury in Angie's head while she was carried? That would be the tape, which was right there. Oh, right over her hair. I like how this one is a little weird, and I wonder if it's because of the fact of that whole split personality thing, where instead of slowly unlocking the other set of pictures, uh, it's all set after we do a certain amount. Huh. Like all of them are now five turns until we get the next set of pictures. Which I wonder if that's for uh, the whole... Even if it is... I mean, is it? It's, uh, we're gonna get the expression eventually, but... It's either that or like some... Like what I, I said this on off camera, like some weird evil spirit or something. I don't know. That's a great question. Um, What woman killed Angie? Would we say the... Katana Did you say yet? what woman killed Angie? What weapon okay. killed Angie? I'm pretty sure I said that. Um... I spaced out for half a second. Let's so. remove the gold leaf katana, but that could very well be... Because, I mean, that's where everything happens. Is it? Oh. Yeah, I did it. Cool. Sweet. None over here. Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? Do I have that? I don't think no. I have that yet. It would appear not, because that's the stone. And that's the path made with salt. So we don't have that yet. Uh, the path... Uh, uh, the handle of the spinning katana. There we have. Hit the sliding block. Yeah. Perfect. And then we go over here found who unlocked the door we don't have that yet nope. okay oh let her stand first her forehead on i have the stone i might Boom. not have liked her that much but she didn't deserve that no uh what would we do with culprit set up on the iron cage uh of course they slowly started to like her just before she died that's always that's how the way the characters always <laughs> do do it man uh who besides you was transfer extinguishing the candles and that's not relevant yet because we only have uh, boop, boop, boop. The path made with salt. That would be that right there. Yep. And now we get the new set unlocked. R right? There we are. Nice. Now I can unlock them all. Let me just do that ahead of time. Come on. It's like an arcade game. It is. Shit. Oh, wrong way. There we go. All right, perfect. Now we can go hey. all the way back and go from ground one. Uh, all right. So, who's the culprit? I saw. Uh, that's not going to be it. That, not Kokichi. <laughs> uh, well, it'll probably be the uh, cutting the cross yeah. piece, what they were doing at the time. Perfect. Ding, 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 ding. Over here. Kaede. That's the Kaede effigy. Up top. Kaede didn't deserve that. No. All right. <laughs> and then we have one angel person who unlocked the door. That's my son. <laughs> yeah. He looks so cute in that picture. <laughs> All right. Um... Doom, doom, uh, okay, who else did that? That would be us. Yep, we're all singing there. And then, uh, when the culprit approached the cage, uh, that would be when they stomped on it. Just yeet. And then they fuck it all up afterwards. Boom, bam, wham. This we did it. Go team. <laughs> Here we go. Thump. Let's look back at the first murder. All right, lay it on me. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. Mm -hmm. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. 
The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. Just in case. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To it's a weird looking pieces, saw. They needed a <laughs> saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. I've never seen a saw like that before. As long as it works, man. They were man. planning to <laughs> cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. Oh. Just so happy-go-lucky. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. Unfortunately. Yeah. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. Like she might At have been point, psycho, but the culprit <laughs> had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. It's to his fault. Angie might not have <laughs> concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. Probably not knowing no. Angie. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit yeah. couldn't use the seesaw trick. Unless they were dealt Any with. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. Angie, look out! Mm -hmm. Oof. The That's a took whack. The floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. Poor Ow. thing. She didn't deserve that. No. Like, she didn't deserve to die. None of these good people deserve to die. No. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. Like, she needed to be stopped, but not, yes, like, stop not breathing. Like that. <laughs> they oh, God. They around Angie's injury to stop around the bleeding. The hair. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. Oh, boy. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. Flutter. Yep. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. The tape was their demise. They noticed the duct yep. tape peeled off <laughs> and was under Angie's body. Totally with, not dude, every with, other without, mistake they made. Without the without duct tape? Evidence, oh, we may not yeah. have figured out the culprit's trick. I was just about yeah. to say that. <laughs> Sweet, she's reading my mind. Carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Locked the front door from inside. And then went to town. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. Ugh. God. He then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Uh, excuse me, the Monokuma file said it was the torso, <laughs> I will have you know. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Yeah, it was. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. That they did. First, yeah. classic. They used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. Already done. And the yeah. other <laughs> was the key to locking the room. Yep. Lucky little bitch. Oof. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. Why Kaede? She's got to deal with all the crap ever since she was the first one. Yeah. And spun Ugh. the effigy around to twist up the rope. Do the helicopter. The, turns, <laughs> the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. <laughs> Spin. Wee. What a wonderful spinning animation. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I mean, that's not quite Once how fast it would spin, but yeah. Yeah. spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. Kerchow. Right on the lock. Kerchow. <laughs> the handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock. Lock a difficult trick. Yeah, locking the door. <laughs> Remember that the lock was so loose Jeez. it moved at the slightest Whoops. touch. The culprit also would have yeah, had the, the opportunity to attempt it many the times. Touch. <laughs> Once complete, the door was locked, 
but the duct tape was left behind. Yeah. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. Couldn't get back in then. No. It was sealed. <laughs> there was no way for them to get back inside. Oh, that too. Yeah. There's no way back in from that point. <laughs> then, this morning, Go, son. He's a robe. Room and discovered Angie's <laughs> body. Hey, who's here? Oh, shit. <laughs> but the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. That they did. Look, he was so obsessed with that for days. Yeah. <laughs> of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. Don't worry, Himiko, you're fine. I was invited mm. by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. Mm. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. It was almost Himiko. Yes, it was. <laughs> a small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. I think we'd mentioned that when we were playing it. It was like afterwards, it was like, thank God Himiko did not go in there. Yeah, but then it gave <laughs> Himiko survivor's guilt, so. Yeah. <laughs> Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. Just totally that set up. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Makes me wonder if that's even part of the ritual. Uh, Next, Kokichi and I, I placed remember. the iron cage over Tenko. <laughs> no, I mean like legitimately, and it's not something Kyo just. Yeah, I mean we had the book for a little bit and read it, but I don't. I know everything else was right, but I don't know about that. I think it, maybe it was. It might have been. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. Hmm. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tanko. <laughs> you always do that. There's always an omen and you always do that. It's perfect. While they were covering the cage Gosh, with a cloth, she had no idea. they secretly placed the sickle. Yeah. That sucks. Finally, four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. Done. The culprit we used the there. weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. That's so smart. Yeah. Act five. The finale. After the preparations <laughs> were complete, we began the seance. Poof. Poof. <laughs> the singing. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the cage child song. Except for one of us. When the song finished, well, no, the he sang too. The dead was supposed to enter yeah, the medium. Yeah, but he was busy during the time. Mm -hmm. But our culprit had another plan: to commit a murder in the darkness. Shine in the dark, and you're too black. <laughs> right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. While still singing, it would have been quite yeah. difficult to do in total darkness. But our culprit had a guide. Salt. It's salt. <laughs> they used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. Terry when Clark. the culprit reached so the good. center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. Oof. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tanko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. I feel like with that much force, it should have caused a lot more damage to the body, but maybe that's just me. Eh. Tanko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. She was killed right before our eyes, and we didn't even see it. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. Finished the ritual and had us light the candles. 
We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. Oof. And discovered Tenko's body. Whoop. Just Whoop. dropped it. Yep. While we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and, and dropped it away it under the floor yep. through the hole in the corner of the room. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. Fuck it all up. Yep. The murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle. This was very smart. Yeah. In the dark. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. God, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Kurekio Shinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. It was you. It only oh took boy. like 15 minutes to go through all that. Dang. Oh my word. <laughs> that was such a convoluted crime. Yeah, because it was two crimes. Yeah. Us. It all fits. <laughs> you can't deny it anymore, dude. Sweet Kurekio. There are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Huh. Admit? Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right. So you finally admit you did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret. My only regret. What is it? I can't this be twisted. Oh boy. Was not being able to make 100 friends. Huh? Uh, what? 100 friends? Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> it was my dream to make 100 friends. Okay. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. Okay. W what are you talking about? I... I do not understand a word of this. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> A fuck. Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Roger that. One voting time coming up. All right. A hard <laughs> racing excitement as. Oh my god. Guys, are we getting? I swear we're gonna get another two for one uh, special with execution the time. Racing excitement. Has a black end in the spot. Oh they my god. Face off. They. It's voting time! They totally ignored him. Because he was boy. supposed to do with the, like, and then just Monokuma, and they, they, then they, um, whoa. Oh, man, he's gonna demolish them. <laughs> just. They're both gonna die. I thought you were my siblings. You will perish. <laughs> <laughs> voting time! Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's gonna be Kibo. Right, no, <laughs> don't you dare. It's gonna be Kyo, not Look Kibo. Look at that freaky mask. Yeah, what about that one? Like... Now announcement? Then, what? It seems that well, that's what happens finished. when it ends. Oh, okay. Let's see the result. Did anyone not vote uh, correctly, or... Let's see here. Did anyone shockingly not vote? Oh, that would suck. Wow. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got ten of us, so I'll assume that he didn't vote. Yeah. But. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Well, let's see. <laughs> Verdict. <laughs> Bam! Jackpot. <laughs> There's three, but I had a feeling that's gonna change. Oh yeah. Question is It's ironic because there were two <laughs> victims in this murder. Yeah. It's fitting. I thought it would only be die. um 
the red one, Ow. but boy, I this how painful rate, that is. It is loud. Oh, Thanks God. for all the coins. All right. Well, time to move on. Whew. Go back to voice acting everything. Oh, I gotta get. <laughs> yeah. I need some water or something before I do this. Oh my god, it's been such a long day for me. <laughs> it has. If I'm not in prime condition, everyone, it's because I DM for the first time today in D and D. Yep. So I was doing and one was shot for, for three hours straight. Three hours straight, yeah, with so, uh, five players. Oh god, that was exhausting. <laughs> so if I'm not in my prime condition, I do apologize. But I'm gonna give my uh, my all here. And of course, Monokuma would fucking show up and try and talk when I'm and trying to get myself into it. And we got up earlier than usual today, too. That, too. Wow, seriously, you're correct again. Absolutely right. Uh, amazing. That's just the third correct verdict in a row. All right. If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round. I... How's, it, this, how's this gonna last that long? I will he, murder you all. He's like, you're not gonna last <laughs> no. long. It's finally over. No. No, not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Kyo, why? Why did you kill Tenko and Angie? That yeah, works perfectly. <laughs> yeah. He don't need the motive. I was like, or, wait. He don't need to kill them both, no matter what motive he had. Because I read Tenko before I read Angie, but then I'm like, <laughs> I can fix this. It's fine. I can save this. Motive? Hey! Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how did that trigger a murder? Hey, hey! Don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaido? Shut up! J shut up! I never said I was scared. <laughs> the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? I... Because we're friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. What? So it has nothing to do with the motive? Huh? Th then why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone that I love. I... Okay. From the bottom of my heart. Someone so dear. Someone I long for. I... You gonna... I... I whoa. Oh, gosh. Heart. And she loves me with all her heart. I... Yes. We vowed an endless love to each other. Forever bound by fate. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. Okay. I... No matter what anyone says. Okay. Huh. What? B bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you! Some of us aren't that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so to see this love lover of yours, you ought to escape. Don't tell me. That's why you killed Angie and Tenko. But why did you need to kill both? <laughs> If you asked if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Inside? Wait! Don't look at me! I, I'm i not his lover! Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, no one want disgusting shit stuff, bitch, like you, anyway. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what, 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 what the what? Did you say kasploosh? <laughs> yeah. Oh right. my god. Kyo, who is it? Who's this person you love? Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> <laughs> when I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. You see. I mean inside me. Sister. Yes, the um... one I love lives inside me. My dearest sister. Huh? S sister! Wait! D don't look at me! I I'm not his sister! Right. I would hope not. <laughs> well, duh, if you were a sister, he would have killed himself already. Wait. <laughs> Fuck. It took a second for that to register, really. Oh, wow. Jeez, God cookie. damn! <laughs> your sister? But didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter? <laughs> it is not that difficult. My sister is my lover. Oh, so you're uh -oh. a Lannister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got back to this. I loved Ugh. her so deeply, and she loved me so deeply. The fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. Ugh. They called it forbidden love. But none could stop the love we shared. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. Bro. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. For my beloved sister. That is why, for my beloved sister, I had to. Always messing around. You had to escape from here, right? No. 
I had to kill for her. Huh? What? Sister. <laughs> Sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However, even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends from my dear deceased sister. Huh? D deceased? So it Do you understand? was a spirit? In a way, and I guess the friends was actually, I guess he's been killing people to go to the afterlife to join his sister yeah. as friends, so. My sister's now a ghost, so her friends should be ghosts too, right? For my beloved sister. I was gonna say, I was gonna oh say, so the fact of like, oh my god, god. he's killed almost a hundred fucking people. <laughs> and we thought that we were all fucking focused on, uh, bah, 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 bah. why is it blank? It's blanking out on me. Focused on what? Maki? We're focused on Maki. Yes, <laughs> Maki is the, as the as serial the killer. killer over here. But, uh... The assassin, but I think we have a bigger one on our hands. <laughs> For sister's sake, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. <laughs> They were all wonderful people, worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? I... What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too <laughs> impossible. Don't, don't, don't hurt your robot brain, son. <laughs> sister is very happy. Yes. I... <coughs> I wasn't... Yes, Kurikio. I am very happy. Thanks to you, I'm not lonely. <laughs> Could it be that the lipstick version of Kyo is... I am Korekio's older sister. Thank you for looking after my little brother. What? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> after I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught and I went mad. But sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. Sister. Now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. Korekio. That's wonderful, Korekio. Your love made the impossible possible. Are you serious? Is this, this isn't really a spirit? I told you. He's just delusional. <laughs> what a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. Ew. <laughs> Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you know. You said you killed a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here. What was that? What? <laughs> Seemed like he was already crazy before he got here. Because Cuckoo. <laughs> you didn't kill to escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get go. <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Acceptable. Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sisters' friends. Huh? Only girls? Huh? I see. So when you were deciding on who should be the medium. Well, then let's choose a spiritual medium. It would best. It would work best with a girl. Oh. Uh. Um. You said it would work best with a girl. I. I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. And besides Maki and Miu, they were all worthy. <laughs> all worthy of being sisters' friends. Huh? All worthy? Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, not like I care. Then <laughs> the second victim. Could have been me. It almost was. Yeah. <laughs> Tenko died in place of me? Yeah. Oh boy. Then I'll do it. Oh, that, oh wait, no, that was her, right? That was still Himiko. Oh, this is okay, all Himiko. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No, I'll do it. Thank God for that. <laughs> Excellent. Himiko would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble earnest heart made her a perfect friend for sister. Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? huh? Uh, infiltrate? Really? But... But how did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me. I have studied many people. Uh, yes, she stood, up, <laughs> she stood up against the darkness of the school all by herself. All for her beloved friend. Beautiful. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Oh, well. Though I was planning on having you become sister's friend too. Eventually. Oh my god. No way! What? He you was gonna kill for... all the girls, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, he had to do a quick for the class trial. <laughs> yeah. But, goddamn. Wow, you did all that just to kill. For you to go that far, that's pretty impressive. 
You were interested in the caged child, just so you could use it to kill someone. Right? Let's see. It interested me on an anthropologist, of course. But more than that... For my beloved sister! I wanted to kill for sister. I cannot deny that overpowering feeling. <laughs> are you okay? God, are you okay? You look kind of pale. Wow. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let's focus on Kyo right now. <laughs> Allow me to explain, though. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. However... But Angie walked in on me preparing and I ended up killing her in a different way. So I figured I may as well kill someone else too. <laughs> after all, it would be a shame to just waste a seance trick I prepared. What is that? <clears throat> you're, you're talking like you killed her just because you could! That's exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, not because I could. I was sending another friend to sister. Correcio. You're such a thoughtful little brother. But it was a bad to get an... But it was bad to get greedy. Oh dear. You're right. Because of that I now can't send a hundred friends to sister. <laughs> do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Korakio's crime. <laughs> I, I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. It's like this <laughs> goes beyond my logic that I was taught. This does not make sense. <laughs> oh god. It does not compute. Th that's right. Killing two friends for your dead sister. But how? That wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's death. Do not worry. Death only changes a person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. Even though I'm go I'm a ghost now, I'm always by Kurikio's side. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. <laughs> Cut it out already. What was that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing's making sense. It's not fair! Why did Angie and Tenko have to die for something so unfair? Well... Because death is unfair! Yeah. <laughs> and another thing... All deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? <laughs> because... Everyone likes unfair deaths. Maybe. Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game. <laughs> Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. People are watching this? Shut up! Knock off the bullshit! Only sick fucks would enjoy watching this! You got me! Hell yeah, if I was in this killing game, I would have so much fun watching Oh them. my god. The nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. <laughs> but my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. Sister. I think I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. Sister. I wasn't able to send her a hundred friends, but at least I can see her again now. Correcio. It's all right, sweet Kurikio. Come to me. Oh. Looks like you're already prepared. Now then, let's get started. It's punishment it's time! It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time! And as Monokuma vibrates here, <laughs> we'll go to the punishment time next time. Oh. And then we'll go ahead and see the execution and wrap up chapter three and keep chugging along like a train. Got no brakes on this station. Toot toot! <laughs>